Hello, brothers and sisters. Recently, I've been remembering something that a priest told me about a year and a half ago. I was talking about <clears throat> trying to focus more on the Lord and prayer. And uh, he said, you know, whatever you do, remember nothing without the Lord. And that phrase has really stuck with me. Nothing without the Lord. Nothing without the Lord. And I've been really finding it really useful recently to just remember that, whether I'm standing in an aisle on an airplane, waiting to get off, or driving somewhere in my car, or just kind of doing something at work, just remembering nothing without the Lord, that the Lord is always with us, the Lord is always near, the Lord is always in us, and we can be aware of him. And when I, when I think of that, uh, a smile comes out on my face, and there's just a peace and a joy about knowing that the Lord is, is always with us no matter what we're doing, and it's, it's just really important. Now, this is also a short way of remembering a really fundamental truth from the scripture. This is true. The Lord told us he would be with us till the end of the age at the end of Matthew's gospel. Uh, in John's gospel, he told us that he's the vine and we're the branches. And if we stay connected to him, we're going to bear much fruit. And so just remembering that phrase, nothing without the Lord reminds me that we're connected to him and he's connected to us and his grace, his love, his friendship is uh, always with us. And then, of course, there's the uh, scripture passage uh, about the, the father and I will come and dwell with you. Like, so the Lord is dwelling in us. And then th there's also the, the things that the apostles say and that the, the, the New Testament says in Philippians chapter four says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance, your patience. The Lord is at hand. Yes, nothing without the Lord. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So it says, in everything by prayer, uh, make your needs known to God. And I, I find that phrase, nothing without the Lord, is a way of helping keep my mind and heart in the Lord, making my needs known to him. Just sort of remembering that he's my companion in life. He really is my friend, and he's really with me at all times. And the more I can remember that, the more his presence, the more his love, the more his peace can really be in my heart. And then, of course, there's uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses uh, 16 to 18. It says, rejoice always, pray constantly, always give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So this is a fundamental part of God's will for us that we rejoice always. How can we rejoice always? Because we've been delivered. We've been saved. We've been loved. We are loved. And if we just keep following Jesus, we're going to join him in the most overwhelming love and overwhelming communion, and overwhelming goodness of eternal life. It's already beginning but it's going to really blossom after our death. You know, when we're raised from the dead, it's going to be pretty amazing. So rejoice always, even amidst the difficulty. Pray constantly. How do you pray constantly? Well, I'm finding this little phrase, nothing without the Lord, is a way of praying constantly or praying more constantly. I don't pretend that I do it all the time. Uh, my goal is to remember more and more frequently uh, nothing without the Lord asking the Lord's help and everything, thanking the Lord and everything, acknowledging his presence and everything. Pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you. So a lot of times people are saying, I wish I knew God's will for me. Well, while we're trying to figure out this thing or that thing about our future or about our present, this is God's will. Rejoice always. Pray constantly. Always give thanks. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It couldn't be clearer, couldn't it? It couldn't be more direct, couldn't be more relevant, couldn't be more helpful. Now, 
even uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, it even says, uh, in everything, even eating or drinking, give glory to God. So even in the very most, most mundane, most bodily aspects of our life in this earth, eating and drinking, always give glory to God. So the Lord is with us always. You know, I, I, I do travel a lot, and sometimes uh, I'm alone at, at various points, uh, having breakfast in a strange city or whatever, and, and it really helps me to remember that the Lord is at my side, and that nothing without the Lord. And, and sometimes we can actually experience his presence when we remember his, that he's there. Sometimes we don't feel anything. Sometimes we don't sense anything. But just in faith, acknowledging that the Lord is at our side and is always with us is really important. But sometimes he lets us experience him, him being with us. And, you know, I, I've had some times where I, I really have felt like the Lord's having breakfast with me and he, he's kind of decided to accompany me and let me experience it. I know he always accompanies me and he always accompanies you, but it is a blessing when from time to time the Lord lets us actually perceive it. Now, what that priest told me, nothing without the Lord, is very similar to something that Teresa of Avila says in her, her writings. And this is on page 129 of the Fulfillment of All Desire. I, I know many of you have the book. Uh, I was really astounded recently when Father Mike Schmitz, who's you know a very well-known priest, said that he, he's read it six or seven times, and, and it keeps reminding him that there's always more. And uh, the, it, it's same with me. The, these sayings of the saints, these this wisdom of the saints is uh, really, really helpful. So this is what Teresa of Avila says that's very similar to what that priest told me. All harm comes to us from not keeping our eyes fixed on you. If we were to look at nothing else but the way we would soon arrive. Remember Jesus close to your side. Get used to this practice. Get used to it. I'm not asking you to do anything more than look at him. That, that's virtually identical to what that priest told me. Nothing without the Lord. And here's Teresa of Avila saying, remember Jesus close to your side. Get used to this practice. He is close to our side. He's dwelling in our soul. He's with us in every circumstance. Get used to it. I'm not asking you to do anything more than look at him. So brothers and sisters, let's remember nothing without the Lord. Remember Jesus close to your side. Get used to this practice. Get used to it. I'm not asking you to do anything more than look at him. We keep our eyes on Jesus. We're going to soon find ourselves at our destination, and we're going to get the help and strength and peace and joy and confidence we need to manage the challenges of daily life in this world. God bless you.